Henry from mummyofpoor.com. Welcome back to my channel and this is the week 10 renovation update for our new home renovation project. I think this is the most exciting update I've had to share with you so far. Oh, sorry. It's the most exciting update I have to share with you so far because so much has happened. But Zara would like to tell you that you fell over and scuffed your knee, didn't you? Will a chocolate biscuit fix it? Okay. I think, well, we're gonna have to take you to school in a minute. If you didn't catch our last vlog, it was our Zara starting school for the first time vlog, and that was filmed yesterday. So it's, we're going for your second day very soon, aren't we? It's very exciting. So um, go and check that out after you watch this video. I shall link it below. So before we go to school and I show everyone around, let's just very quickly show everyone your uniform and your bad knee, obviously. And then very quickly, before I go and get you a chocolate biscuit, we'll just say, if you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. Okay, should we go and show everybody around and get you your biscuit? Okay. Starting in Bella's room, and we have got beautiful pink sparkly wallpaper. If you saw my haul where we went to the range, I looked at this, I didn't buy it. My husband actually went back and bought it. It is really glittery and sparkly and gorgeous. I'm so thrilled with that. We're having the same in Zara's room as well. So this room now has wardrobes with doors. These are sliding doors for the wardrobes. No innards to the wardrobes yet, but they're coming. And also carpet. So I'm just really, really excited to see this room coming together. You can see it's all looking really kind of crispy just like in a, a new house all the switches are done the wardrobes are in which i'm really pleased with because this has been built up but it sort of matches the rest of what's been done in the same paint and i just love it and that wall loving so we're going to put bella's bed coming out here i'm looking at a desk dressing table type thing for her to go here and then calyx along here with a tv on the top um, and also a little tall drawer thingy to go there to make use of the space. But Bella's room, I'm really, really thrilled with. Obviously when I get my junk out of there. But for now, this is where I'm working while Zara is in school. You can see we have got a bit of carpet retracted down and a bit of this kind of funny tape thing to stop people with dirty hands messing up the door handles. So in here, Let's turn, this, we turn the light on. This is like not really that different other than it's just really, really dirty. I mean, um, because the dust from everything being all cut up, hello, all over the place has just gone everywhere. But if you haven't seen the bathroom, this is the bathroom. We do still need to find a toilet roll holder. This is the bin we got from Ikea, in the Ikea hall. We have got the cupboards. We've got one up and one down. So I'm thinking that one needs a something on top of it, like a little plant pot or something. Anyway, I need to get a little something. And yes, it does need, you know, ugh, cleaning, because yuck. But it's it's like clean dirt, if that makes sense. It's just dirt from, you know, cutting these doors and things. But I am overall massively pleased with the bathroom, especially this, look, look, you do this. And it comes on, apparently, how do you do it? Oh, there we go, like that. That's how that works. So really, really pleased with that. And that goes off when you turn off the bathroom lights. So into Willy Wan's room. And this, let's find a light in here. This has been painted, so it's looking lovely, really crispy, the TV to go on the wall over there. Um, the built-in wardrobes are in, and the sliding doors are in. So really, really pleased with those. These wardrobes are going to be absolutely huge. So I want to have like a low rail and a high rail and then sort of storage on top as well for occasional stuff. This door has been on, obviously, and has come back off so that they can paint all around here. So that's Will's room. <clears throat> oh, also the alarm has gone in. So that's good to know. Um, and then through to Zaza's room, which is looking amazing. It's half paper. It should be, uh, the, this is being done today. So that should be papered all along there today. Her wardrobe is in as well. Also a really nice big wardrobe. And then I don't know here whether to put the little pink chest of drawers from Bella's room or to go for just a big dressing table first as last. I need to figure out what's going to fit in here. 
I'm thinking her bed along here. Maybe I could just put the dressing table at the end of her bed, like backing onto it. No, not the dressing table, the, um, how do you even say it, bussange? We've got a pink chest of drawers, basically. Maybe it'll fit. Table to there, dressing, uh, chest of drawers thingy on the end, and then we're having calyx all along this wall, because she could have like a dressing table desk thing there as well. Heading downstairs. Oh look, her husband. Heading downstairs, and the new stairs have been ordered. Do we have a delivery date on the new stairs, husband? Yeah. Have we got an estimated delivery date? A week. About a week, excellent. Dylan's room still like the point of collection for all things that need to exit the property, but you know. Rubbish. Rubbish, yes. But it's heading out, isn't it? Because be rumor out. has it, flooring from downstairs is coming soon. Is that rumor true? This room, yeah. Yeah? Amazing, when are we looking at that? Is leaving the rest of the car upstairs. Oh wow, so that, this is the flooring like we've got downstairs in our existing house which is like a, um, like a really, really nice like wood laminate. It is laminate, but it's nicer than laminate, isn't it? Anyway, oh, and this, this door has gone back on. Is that just so people can have a wee in private? Yeah, more proof. Oh, nice. <laughs> Lovely, okay, thank you for that, darling. Uh, this door is being replaced, but apparently you heard it first so that people can poop. Not that the, um, the seat cover's been off, this is, what is this no-nonsense stuff, by the way, I see all over the place? No-nonsense? You keep putting this on things. Oh, that's a screw fix. Oh, you want, oh that's just a protective toilet seat. From what? Well, from scratches and stuff. Oh, I see. From you. Oh. I see. So that wasn't, you've put somebody that on there since. Somebody sits on there and is dust on it, it'll scratch it. So if somebody sits in it now, it won't scratch it. Oh, good. Okay. And this? That's just protection. Left this it does. on. This does. Oh, look. Ooh. Figure to finish tile and stuff. Very nice. Very, very nice. Really pleased with the sink um, in here. And this, does it have soap in it? Yeah. <gasps> oh, look at that. I mean, I have to rock with it on my hands. Ooh. It is almost like a real house, isn't it? It's getting there. We have been looking, if you've seen my videos recently, I've been looking and looking for a nice screw to the wall. We feel that this was sturdy enough and so far pretty pleased with that. It doesn't look too industrial. Um, so I have actually ordered another one of those for upstairs and means that I can just buy in bulk the big soaps and refill it. Um, and it also means that, you know, it's a little bit better for the environment, isn't it? Less packaging and stuff and less like ugly cluttered stuff clutching up my sink. Uh, the shower is in in here, but um, the shower screen is not. Oh, do you know why? It's because I have forgotten to show you our bedroom. Right, let's run back upstairs because there's lots going on in here too. Our bedroom, there we go. That's one of the doors to go on. And I thought the shower screen was up here. Tell a lie, it's the shower screen. There's doors up here to go on. The shower screen's actually in the lounge. I'm totally confused today. The doors are for this fabulous wardrobe, which is huge. Um, and so this door and this door are going on there. Obviously this door is just going back on there because all this has had to be painted. I can't believe I forgot to show you this room. All this painting stuff going on. This wall, we are going to wallpaper. Now, when we were in the range, I did pick up a sample of this, but I've kind of gone off it, I think. What are we thinking to this one on the wall? It's kind of, let's see if I can show you. Properly. It's kind of got a bit of sparkle to it. Just a bit of texture. What do we think to that? Or is it too dark? I don't know, let me know in the comments because as you know, we did pick up that pink paper in the range and I'm really pleased with that in the girls rooms this one I think I like it our bed is actually going to go up against this wall we're gonna I need a little bedside table to go either side and our bed coming out here and then some chest to draw thingies here and dressing table there and then I guess a laundry basket here with maybe some storage up that not sure entirely anyway back on with the tour we can head back down here. I'm gonna briefly show you in the office, but not a great deal has changed. There you go, it's just my wellies and a whole load of mess. Not much has changed in here, because the exciting room is in here. That's the shower screen for the downstairs loo that I was talking about. The most exciting bit 
is the kitchen. If you remember last week's video, we did have a bit of a challenge to see how much the kitchen you can get in. And I'm now very pleased to reveal the kitchen is looking brilliant. Quite impressed with this. Now, this is not the work tool we're having. Right. Okay. So obviously these are not the worktops. What happens by all accounts when you have a kitchen is you put in the kitchen, then normally plinths go on and plinths come off, and, but he's decided that that's all very silly and to just put them on when it's finished. So this is not the worktop that we're having because the kitchen goes in and then someone comes up to measure. We've had a rough measurement of the worktops, but you have to measure exactly the worktop. So they are coming tomorrow, is that right? Worktop measurement people? Yeah, worktop measurement people are coming tomorrow and then however long they take to cut worktops. But all in all, I am thrilled with this. So we have got um, the center island, which may be moved location-wise, budged either way, and is gonna have an overhang that way to put stools underneath. Obviously that will eventually be cut through to the extension, but that can totally be done after we've moved in with minimal mess, other than the day we knock through. Tiles, white tiles under all this cardboard and stuff, which um, you have seen before. Now this will be the sink, but it will not be this sink, and it will be white sparkly quartz worktops. Oh, how do we open these? Ooh. That, that one's not opening because it's not, it's actually been held down by the fake worktop. And then I'm planning to put um, kitchen cleaning stuff up in here. And then over here we'll have, this space is for the dishwasher, yes? Is that right? And then this is the, so this space is for the dishwasher. That space for the dishwasher. This is for the, what's it called? The hob. But it's not, it's a special type of hob. It's called a induction hob. Induction hob. So we've got an electric flat type hob thing. And then we've got drawers. Oh, look, drawers that you can see into because, you know, obviously we don't have worktops yet. So these would be for pan, cutlery on the top and then pans and things. And then over here is just countertop in the corner. And then these are, I assume, are going to be sockets here, sockets. here, and here. Sockets, sockets. Um, and obviously we're gonna have the white, I want brick effect tiles. Now, my husband has his head in what will be the microwave slash oven, but it's not like a normal microwave, is it? It's one that looks basically... It's marked in the oven. Yeah, so it's, but it is like, it's more like a proper oven as well, from what I can gather, what we've bought. <laughs> Is, uh, anyway, we'll come back to that when you put your head out of it. Yeah, that this is going to be our fridge freezer, which is the one we've got at home already. Right, here we go, the oven. Now this is hide and slide by all accounts. So it goes, ooh, how exciting is that? Am I just the only one that's right. absolutely excited about that? It's because it, it, oh, it does it by itself. Okay. You give it a little, give it a little. Okay, well I was trying to be gentle with it. Oh, okay. But anyway, that will look like another oven, but it also is a microwave. And then over here, we were gonna have a pulley outy thing, but we realized that having it as like a normal cupboard was gonna actually give us a lot more kind of cubic feet or whatever you wanna call it, a lot more storage than a pulley outy thing. So we've just got two really big cupboards. Over here, these, this will have stools behind it. And, oh look. Under the overhangy thingy, that's going to be an electricity point. Yay! For charging phones, for charging phones or plugging yeah, in my yeah. ring light when I'm filming ring videos. Light, yeah. um, although I'm not, it doesn't look like we need a ring light because the right, lights are bright in here. What's that? We bought the kitchen from them. Yes. And to be honest, everything turned out in one hit. They've said, they delivered when they said they're going to deliver. Okay. Not everything we asked for, it's fitted. Okay. The only thing we're waiting for is the worktops. But so in all far, fairness, that is so, far, so, so far pretty, so good. Pretty good experience. Just for a record, this is not an ad. <laughs> this is not an ad. This is not an ad. And, and I've, I'm... Used, I've used other kitchen supplies before, and it's always a case of you've got bits missing, wrong colours, thing, just odds and sods. If you go into this corner here. Okay, this corner here. These. These are the leftovers I've got. I've kept every single off cut of the kitchen. Okay. So these are just little strips. I've got to say, there's I'm amazed to hear you saying something so positive because it's not your jam normally, is it? There's one, little fillet, there's one little fillet there. A fillet. A little fillet infill panel, which okay. 
Should have gone up here, but we managed. But you to didn't need it. Squeezed out up a little bit. Okay. I am actually quite actually should have been sitting down for you to say something so positive about anyone because you're normally a bit of a negative no, Nelly, aren't you? Did you find them? Okay. Mm. I'm slightly in shock actually. I really do wish I was sitting down for that. But anyway, <laughs> this is going to be Sweet. cupboards. We are going to try and put some sort of pull-out bins. The one thing we didn't actually buy from Ren was the pull-out bin, did we? Because um, the price was. You can get it from anywhere. Yeah, so we're going to just source a pull-out bin -y thingy from Hello. in there. Yeah. But overall, I'm pretty thrilled. That's an installation plan that you've got pegged up at there. Yeah, and this is, this is the other thing. Three days before they were due to deliver the kitchen, they sent us this installation oh, plan. For you to study. Oversized, so you can see it from the other end of the room. You haven't got to Oh, because I thought I had to print something out for you. Yeah, well, this is Oh, it. okay. So we've had the original plan pack here. Pretty good. I didn't realise that because last I heard, you wanted me to print something out for you. Well, yeah, that's it. I didn't realise you, you had all that I stuff. I know, then this turned up. So you get these plans. Oh, these are the ones I printed out for you. Yeah. Okay. But you also get these from Ren. I just want a spare copy because okay. it's, it's, things get lost or Cool. Or oh, well. This, this is, uh, so this all is in really all. Handy. You've got corresponding numbers to all the panels, where they all go. I mean, I doubt very Pretty. many people actually install their own kitchen like you were doing. Most people would just get some other well, things to do it. The only thing I would it. say about Ren, my experience, is their installation cost was quite heavy. It was, which is why you wanted to do it yourself, didn't you? Because yeah. bear in mind, we had today is Tuesday. We had this delivered on Thursday. You didn't touch it on Friday because you were doing something else. Yeah, but where? You we're start. Oh, you didn't touch it Thursday. When did you start the kitchen? Um, on we were we did a couple of hours on a Friday afternoon, just sussing it out. Okay, so you didn't actually do sure anything. anything was here. Yeah, like unpacking and stuff. I'm putting some uh, horizontal lines in, just heights and stuff. Okay. And then um, but you didn't really unpack like properly. Saturday we rocked up at ten o'clock. I did have a mate help help me with my with my friends. Uh, yeah. Did not moving, just holding stuff. Yeah. Um, but by the end of Sunday, which was much better. Yeah, ten. You we've, um, we've done it. We've, you probably, smashed it out in two done, days, really, two about, and a bit days. I've probably done about 20 hours on it in total. Well, I've got to say, I am massively impressed with this kitchen for 20 hours' work. Now, obviously, the worktops couldn't have been done within that 20 hours because uh, they need to be measured and added in. But overall, for 20 hours, that is an amazing amount of work done. You had the option to pay for installation with Ren, which you did say was quite steep, didn't you? Um, it was like they wanted like three thousand pounds, I think, to, to do the installation. Two thousand seven to put this in, which has taken you these twenty hours. Um, but then, if you have the worktops from them, which we are having, the installation is included with that. And you did think the price for the granite is not granite quartz was pretty good, even including right, the installation. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's sort of swayed me, swayed me towards it. I think. Yeah. Going so, but all in all, I'm just thrilled with it. Just thrilled. So what do we think, guys? Are we pleased? In the comments, let me know. Have we made the right decision? Because I'm pretty chuffed. I think this is going to be lovely when it's a really good clean. By the way, some of the kitchen looks a bit dodgy because it's still got wraps on. Right, okay. And so then, some of it, yeah, so actual, some of it's still got like this stuff on. So it's not, it's coming off on its own really. Yeah, because but obviously yeah, you want to leave is, it on. This is the actual finish. That is the actual finish of the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. and some of this has got one of these hasn't and some Oh, has, I see. So we'll take all that off. And that doesn't open because that's edge. like plonked on top because it's, oh, oh it does open, does it? Yeah, oh, it does. Okay, I couldn't open it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, great. You wanted, no, it's because... you wanted a handleless kitchen and you can't open it. Oh, no, I was, oh, I know why. It's because I was, no, side. I was, that's I, I was, said, yeah, but I'll, I know, I know, just yeah, I know. That was me being in my picture and open from this side. It opens from this side. I will learn that when it is my own actual kitchen. So, pretty impressed by the work that they've managed to do in that time. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. You can catch my latest video just across here and more home renovation project down here. See you guys soon. Bye.